next up, have a little look at the manual and what are they saying. They are saying to remove the axle for the reverse gear. and the axle for fifth gear. I should rotate and remove. So there's a bunch of stuff. So this is the fifth gear selector. Some scratches on the surface here. We'll see if we can buff them out. aside and then the shaft for the reverse gear it should lift out it's not only a shaft but it's a, a gear as well so okay, it should lift out and then there's this fork what do, I, what do they say about the fork Also take this off. This is to guide the oil. Did something just drop? I don't know. Oh, I don't think so. So this is just an oil guide. Um, what about the fork? So lift. But I lift it. The fork is preventing me. Oh, okay. Or should I only take out the axle? Rotate the axle for fifth. Remove the axle and the gear from reverse. Remove the axle and the gear. So you guys probably didn't see anything I was doing, so this is the, the reverse gear. Over there is our shifter mechanism. In that hole over there was our fifth gear uh, shaft. I think I'm missing something, but I don't know what. So, lift this assembly. I'm gonna leave the fifth gear in for now. The reverse gear, I mean. Should be able to get this piece of shaft out. The 
is what they were saying. Um, This is a whole lot of fiddling to do. Uh, so rotate and, and pull. Okay. That's our shaft out. Just clean it a little bit. Next up is our fork assembly. And I need to pull up on both uh, gear assemblies and then I should be able get this out of the way don't want to get my fingers jammed in there one fork and now I should be able to get this shaft out maybe not yet not yet um, look at the papers again huh. yes we should be able to remove them together so make sure you keep them together and uh, I see the problem the gear for reverse is in the way so they didn't talk about removing the fork for reverse so I don't get why it's why it keeps snagging why can't I get this out unless I can get the shaft out separately but I don't think so I think it's one piece so one assembly out that's the I think it's the secondary shaft this is the primary so don't know if this will come out yet just yet tilt it a little bit So the primary with the bearing over here. Now I should be able to get this uh, magnet out. See this? This is all metal shavings and goop gunk all metal Can you see this it wants to stick on the magnet so it's a good thing to have a magnet in there 
gonna try to get as much off as possible. It might be hard to believe, but this is the actual magnet. <laughs> and there's still some shavings on there. <clears throat> so this fork with the reverse gear can get the shaft to move up and then you can get it out so nice to know I guess that was the hardest part next up I need to remove the diff um, still need to address the input shaft uh, and the seals and gears and everything so still plenty of things to do need to degrease this thing and tomorrow it should be off to the powder coating uh, look at the paper what does it tell me to do the input shaft to do the differential ah, you can see the switch protruding <laughs> now you can see how it works there's actually a bit on this fork here the push is against the switch just on off kind of deal um, so I have three new, new seals in my kit there's one for this side one for the other side and I think it this one the input shaft still need to to take the fork mechanism out and I'm hoping this plastic bit can handle the powder coat uh, oven I don't know if I can remove uh, st the stuff like that so there's a pin forks this fork as well In conjunction. Okay. So, like I said, next up is the should be the differential. And I want to take this thing out as well. Although I don't know if I can. Actually, what's it pushing against? <laughs> selector lever there's a, a nut in here <coughs> connected to the shaft use a deep socket 19 possibly 18 and 19 fits loosely and get it off <laughs> Keep 
on doing this until it's off. It's rather tight. But we'll get there. Ah, okay. So it needs to be kept into place. And that's the housing. So I ch did chip one tooth over here, unfortunately.